Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel with our Crafty Playdate and I wanted to make a video to show you some of the new stuff that's coming out in the upcoming annual catalog that is just now fresh to us. Uh, I placed my order, as a demonstrator you're allowed to order early, and I placed my order and it has come in. I can't show you inside this gorgeous 30 year anniversary catalog, um, but you can see some of the new fun colors. So check those out. Um, I can't show you inside yet. Oh, you'll have to wait, sorry. Okay, um, this is what we were allowed to order from though. And this is something that demonstrators could order right now. And you guys will be able to order uh, beginning next month. And I will come back and tell you more about this in another video. I just wanted to show you what came in in my box. If you're a demonstrator, we were allowed to order from this beautiful little pa pamphlet here if we attended our onstage event. And our onstage event was our anniversary celebration that we just had. Our local one was in Milwaukee and I was up for a day and we had an 80s party. It was so fun. If you've checked my Facebook page, you've probably seen my crazy 80s outfit. There's a whole story behind that, but that's for another day. Anyway, this is what I ordered from this and the other brochure. And so I wanted to open my box with you here. And I wanted to show you this beautiful butterfly. This butterfly was uh, in a huge vase of corresponding colors on each table when we went to our onstage event. It was so fun. We also got these fun little um, center stage is for the leaders. So it's the night before the regular event and all the leaders are invited and that's where we had our 80s party. So I went to that event and then I went to on stage and here's another thing that they gave us actually at um, the leadership portion at center stage. These are the markers of the new in colors. So I know you guys are dying to see these and I don't know their names yet. Um, except some kind of wonderful lipstick. I don't remember what it is. Luscious lipstick. Let's see. I'll pull that out and let you know. It is Lovely Lipstick, uh, Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover, Blueberry Bushel, and some kind of fabulous thing here, Grapefruit Grove. So these are the new five in colors, and those are going to be replacing some of the colors that you may remember. Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Flirty Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, and Sweet Sugar Plum. That's hard to say fast, but those colors are going away. Um, and so if you haven't been on my website, you do need to check it out. I will list it right here for you. But you should go there and check it out because they have put out the retired list. And with that, uh, some of those colors that I just mentioned, those are not going to be available anymore. So you're going to want to stock up on the re inker if you have the ink pad. And if you love those colors, you need to stock up now on the paper before it's sold out. That'll happen fast. But they did give us some fun things like our Stampin' Blends, our new alcohol markers. I got one in lovely lipstick. So I'm excited to play with that. Um, they gave us this at center stage too, and it's a sample of all the new colors. So here are those new colors that I was just telling you about. Call me Clover and Blueberry Bushel. Aren't those just luscious? There is your rainbow right now. So since the rainbow that I've made a couple of videos about, since that rainbow um, die and stamp set would, will be retiring, um, you want to get in on that right now because these colors are perfect for that rainbow. Okay. So I got a couple other things there that I will show you. I got this wonderful ribbon, and this is, um, what color is that? I don't know. Rich Razzleberry, of course, and it is velvet ribbon. It's completely beautiful. Beautiful. They're redesigning our ink pads so they don't have to be quite so difficult. You just lift. You don't have to do that crazy push thing. You're just going to be able to lift it and slide it. Ooh, but it, this is brand new, as you can see, so it doesn't really slide yet. But, um... This is Mint Macaron. Yes, that's right. It's coming back. I know you missed that color. I got this stamp set at the convention. I won it. We have some prize patrols, and I had a number, and they called my number, and I won this stamp set. They gave us this one at um, the leadership meeting, so that's super cute. We're going to Australia this summer, and I could not be more excited about that stamp. And I also earned this stamp set look at that so this is going to crack you guys up who are long time stamping up customers but i do not own lovely as a tree i know i'm the last holdout my husband's the last holdout that doesn't have facebook and i'm the last holdout to own lovely as a tree but 
I was excited to get this from the box because it looks a lot like Lovely as a Treat, and guess what? It has a bundle. So it does have the dies that match these beautiful things, and we got to make some samples, which I'll have to show you in another video because I didn't bring those downstairs. So I am excited to see those. But, oh, this is funny. This was on our table, too. It was on the box of goodies sitting on our table that we were going to be able to craft with. Um, but we didn't, uh, we weren't allowed to start for a while, so they had this on each box, and I grabbed one. I thought it was so funny. Okay, sliding everything over till it falls on the floor, and putting up here my very large heavy box. Now, I have not opened it yet either, so it popped, supposedly, the shipping guy popped it, but I think he just wanted to see the inside, don't you? Um, so we're going to pop it open with our snips. Okay, so why, while I'm doing this, I'll tell you, I was in a sewing class all day because when you're creative, you're creative in everything. You may not know that, but that's a fact of life. And I was sewing all day today, and it was, it was really fun, but my hands are so, so tired. So bear with me. I know, you want to see everything. So do I. All right, plastic wrap. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Right into our landfills, everybody. Okay, I'll check everything in later because I do actually check my packing list against the contents of my box to make sure, especially when it's popped open like that, to make sure that everything's in there. But I just wanted to show you what I've got. I needed a couple of supplies. So some of these things in here are not newbies. They are just supplies, so you're going to have to bear with me. Ugh, let's see. So this, I had, to, I had to get some more blocks. So they're all in here. Um, and we already have these in the catalog, so you guys have seen this before. This is the whole block bundle, so it's all of the blocks. So this is this. I'm going to set it aside because that is just supplies for me. Okay, now the fun stuff. I know you're already looking. Stop looking. All right, this is Lily Pad Lake. This one is a great new stamp set that we were allowed to order. It does have dies also. It comes in a bundle that match, and I, do, I did order the dies, so they're in here somewhere. We'll find them. But it has dies for all these little pieces. And the coolest thing ever, not that one, this one. Okay, so the coolest thing ever about those dies is that if you are doing this little, this lake line part, it um, they nest. So, or they don't really nest. That's not what I mean. You can take them and you can line up the wiggly line on the last wiggly line and cut a continuous cut out and it doesn't go all the way to the edge look at this so if you have a regular panel of a card and we'll just use this piece um, and you lay it on here like this you can see it's not going to cut all the way to the edge it's going to leave whole stripes in there and you could put a color backing behind that and it will be so fun so that's lily pad lake that's a good set nature's roots this goes with the rooted in nature stamp set that I showed you before. These are the framelits and they're so big because some of these um, dies are super big, some of the stamps. <sighs> I have a couple of things coming up for a class. So this little piggy, we're doing something with this little piggy. This is in the current catalog. Um, I just needed to have these in time for my class for my folks. If you want to take this class and you live in the local Chicago area, the class is on Monday and you should check my meetup page and I will list my class page here too for you. Here is another stamp set called Sea of Textures, also part of a bundle. Um, it has all of these framelits, of course, but what I was loving so, so much is this net under the sea framelits. Look at this, I'm getting lucky with the packing here. Under the sea framelits has a net. We'll throw that on the floor and not pick it up later until I have to pick it up for a class. Look at that, isn't that fabulous? Okay, so with this net, you could cut it out and ink it, distress it a little bit. It's gonna be really fun. These are little fish. You say, why would you ever wanna cut all those out? Well, you could cut them out and run them through a Xyron and that would be, that would be great um, to stick them on something. Or you could just, like you were just gonna do with the lily pad thing, cut them out on a piece of white and put a piece of blue or green behind it and then it would look like the fish were swimming. Okay, so put maybe blue for ocean and green behind it and these little holes, the green, they would be green little fish. Make sense? You'll see when I make samples. Okay, so that is the C, whatever. This is a statement of my heart. This is Stampin' Up's kind of business motto, our statement of the heart. 
and this is a limited time only. We were able to get this. Um, you can only get this, I think, next month, and then it's gone, but it's beautiful. It's to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this, we make a difference, and that makes me feel good because, you know what, we are trying to make a difference with creativity. Okay, this is vellum. So with vellum, as you know, you can color using alcohol markers. You probably, uh, you could use our regular stamp and write markers, but they're probably gonna smear a little bit. This, this kind is not gonna smear, and we have a lot of colors, and we have more colors coming. But in the meantime, this is vellum. So yeah, yeah, it does. It looks exactly like a stained glass window. You knew it, didn't you? So you can cut them apart and make a panel. So I made a card using, which one did I use at the convention? I used this super cool one. I made, oh, isn't that one gorgeous? You have a lot of different flower panels, but you can color them and cut it and just put it on a card as a panel. Yeah, I don't know which one I used, but it was really pretty. All right, anyway, these are part of a bundle. I didn't get the other parts. Um, they were a little finicky for me. And there's a stamp set and a die set, and they're beautiful. They're just a little finicky for me at this point. I think what I'll do is I will wait a little bit and see uh, what other people do with them because I don't know anybody more creative than a bunch of Stampin' Up! demonstrators, and they're going to find something fabulous to do with them, and, of course, then I'm going to need them. Mom, stick your hand in here. I have my mom visiting. She's my assistant today. Hi, so this, <laughs> That's my mom's hand. Now you know where I get my beautiful nails. All right. Um, these are layering alphabet edgelets, and they are not going to make a single bit of sense until you see the catalog. But the minute you see them, particularly if you are a scrapbooker, you're going to want them. They're a little pricey, so you're going to have to save up, or maybe, you know, Mother's Day is going to be coming. Um, and you're, it matches these, but they don't just cut out the letter. But they are going to make the best little mini photo albums you have ever seen. And you're going to definitely get your money's worth out of those. We got these. These are some new doilies. And, you know, we come out with doilies a lot. They're, it's not new for us to have doilies, but look at, can you see that? These are actually pearlized. So I don't know if you know this, and I didn't until the 30th anniversary, but you know how diamond is, golden is 50, and silver is 25. Well, the 30th anniversary is pearl from what I understand. So we did get some very cool pearly pearl stuff. And this is something we got. Oh, this goes with that C bundle. Okay. So this is, look at this for in shaker cards. Look at that. Can you see those? There are some little rocky things in there. So that's going to be adorable in shaker cards with the um, C bundle. So I'm kind of excited to play with that and clean them up out of that box. That'll be awesome. Okay, here are my new ink pads, and we were allowed to get one of each of the brand new ink pads. They have changed the design, and I will go through that in a whole separate video so I can talk about the features of the new design of the ink pads. But mm, there are five new ink colors, luscious, and we'll, we'll be playing with those, I'm sure, quite a bit, getting our fingers all inky. Thank you, Vanna. Um, we have a new Baker's Twine. It is navy, and it is kind of medium, so it's not as thick as our old thick Baker's Twine, and it's not as thin as the striped stuff that we've had before. Uh, the nice thing is, it's I think it's a little easier for cards, really, than that thick stuff, so that's going to be fun to play with, and here's some more. Look at that. Lots of new colors. This goes with the set, so you'll see. Banna. All right, these, again, are just supplies, so these are re-inkers of colors that are going to be retiring that if you don't get in on the action you will not be able to get them so some of the colors are listed on my business Facebook page if you haven't liked that page yet you definitely should because I do list all the colors that are going to be retiring there's one of my blocks um, so I'm gonna just set those off to the side here they're gonna you're gonna see a whole bunch of them because I wanted to make sure I didn't run out this is detailed with love it is a red rubber stamp Okay, so mine is still going to mount on those clear blocks that you just saw. They, I don't use wood very often, and I don't know that I ever will order wood again now that I have my Stamparatus. I just used it in, the cl in a class for the first time, and people were ooing and eyeing about it, and they cannot wait for the new catalog so they can order it. Um, here's another this little piggy for class. We have a whole piggy happiness class. Okay, this is Varied Vases. 
And this was designed by one of our demonstrators who has now sold a million dollars. And I, I'm sorry to say, I don't remember who actually designed it, but it's pretty cool because it's a bundle and it comes with a punch and you can punch out a bunch of different vases and stick little flowers and do some stamped and then 3D. It's gonna be, gonna be great. And look, tulip season right around the corner in Chicago. Maybe we'll have some by August, the way it's been going. Supplies, I, I promised you lots of supplies. That's probably from my supplies. Okay, remember when I was talking about pearls? Look at this. These are the Share What You Love pearl collection. So it's got the colors that match with everything in the Share the Love. Um, the cool thing is, you guys are going to be able to order from that brochure for next month. So you, they'll be in the new catalog, but you don't have to wait for the new catalog for certain things. And this is one of them. So you're going to, you're going to be happy to see that. Oh, here's some cool things that this came with that rooted with nature. It didn't come with it, but it was part of the options of the rooted with nature set. And they are little leaf trinkets and they're lightweight. So you're still going to be able to mail this. They're not high profile. Okay. It's certainly not thicker than a penny. Um, and they're lightweight and it comes in the two different colors. There's a copper and a silver and um, I think you're gonna like it. Oh, and a couple different shapes. So I think there's, they all sunk to the bottom, all the little guys, but look, here's some singles. So some single leaves too. And they'll tie on really well with that baker's twine. And that goes with Rooted with in Nature. We were able to get some colors. Um, because they have changed a lot of the colors and they've discontinued some, this is the new Regal's stack. So they've changed some colors, they've eliminated some. I think it's a total of 13 that they've discontinued. They brought back six from the past and came out with 10 new colors and that doesn't include the five that I showed you that are in color. So that's gonna be kind of cool. So I'm gonna have lots of stacks of paper that I'm not gonna flip through the big stacks, um, but you're gonna have to look at the list. Oh, look at this, okay. I haven't seen this in person, guys, so I'm as excited as you are. This is the part of the Rooted with Nature um, set, the whole suite, and this is the paper that goes with it. And remember that they are gonna list on the back here all of the colors that are included in this paper, so you can always make sure that it's dyed to match. One of my very favorite things with Stampin' Up! is they dye their inks, their papers, um, everything, pens, markers, everything like that. It all is dyed to match, so it's, you know it's always going to go together. Um, so I will flip through this to show you because pattern paper is so much more beautiful in person. Look at that. You recognize that purple? Does anybody remember that? That, my friends, is Blackberry Bliss. Yay! It's back. You might remember that Blackberry Bliss came at the same time as Mossy Meadow. Oh yeah, that one's back too. So you're gonna have some fun. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. Oh, wood, good, 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 good. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna set that aside here. My mom keeps trying to help me out by grabbing it, but she doesn't understand the, the philosophy of just stack it till it falls on the floor. She, she's neater than I am apparently. This is delightfully detailed lace, laser cut specialty paper. A lot of words, and that's because there's a lot of detail in this paper. So this, it has a couple of 12 by 12 laser cut sheets. So look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, going to be beautiful in a scrapbook. And there are a couple different styles of everything and shapes, different flowers for the 12 by 12. But look, we also have in here, oh, one side is ivory. The other side is whisper white. So look at this. If your page is ivory, just flip it over. So that is going to be a nice feature too. Um, it has a lot of little borders and pieces. You can cut this out. It's a frame already made. I made something at convention. I made a sample at our on stage using this, this uh, leaf one. So, so pretty. So you're gonna, I think, really like this. It's a really quick and easy detailed card. You just cut the piece out here. It's the size of a panel. Put it over a piece of color. Pop a sentiment on top, donezo, okay? So I'm gonna set that aside and deal with that in a few minutes too. Yay. Okay, this is Tranquil Textures. Don't remember what seat this suite this comes with, but I want to say that it's with the Tranquil Tide. That would all make sense to me. Um, if it all goes with that tidal octopus net paper. 
All Things Wiggly. Let's call it that. The All Things Wiggly pack. Okay, so here are some of the papers in that collection. Recognize that? That is Mint Macaron. It is back. Coming back with full force. I think that's a brand new blue, everybody. Look at... Good. Lots of little bubbly type paper. That's going to be fun. Oh my god, I love that. I am a blue-green girl. And so I take classes too. You guys might not believe that. But today, in my sewing class um, that I took, uh, the quilts were all blue-green. Blues and teals. I was really happy because that's completely my happy place. All right, we got a new one of these. And you guys might remember this from the past when we had a punch that's like this with the three corners. It actually is a corner, so you slide the corner in here and punch. This does a little flower detail in the corner. This is a great rounder, which we really needed, right? Because we got away from that whole little itty bitty thumb punch one, and then people were using the reverse punch on their envelope punch board, but this one is great. And then this one is perfectly sized for ribbon. So you punch this, it's not a hole, so you can't see behind it. You just run the ribbon up through there and your paper doesn't show behind it. I will give some pointers in another video on how to use this punch the correct way because there's there are some tricks and I want you to know all the tricks. All right, look, here are supplies and blocks and more paper. Is there anything else fun here that you're really gonna wanna see? Oh, these are the in colors. Look at that paper. They called this uh, pineapple, but I'm sorry, that is like banana. You guys remember some colors that I don't because I wasn't here uh, that long ago, but I think there was a yo-yo yellow, and to me, the Call Me Clover looks a lot like gumball green and emerald envy together, so that is going to be, oh, that's a good blue. All right, so that's it for that. Lots of colors. Let me see if there's anything else in this awesome box. Nope, it's going to be all paper and supplies from here on out. What is this? Oh, supplies. Okay, so that is my first batch. We were only allowed to order certain things. We weren't allowed to order everything we wanted from the catalog because they want to save something for when you guys are allowed to order. So as I get more stuff, I will show you so that you can see what's on its way and you can plan your crafting dollars accordingly. I will say, don't only hold out for the new stuff. Check out some of the deals on the old stuff that's retiring. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure that you like my page here. Um, give me a thumbs up, please, and be sure that you push the bell button. That way, next time I make one of these chatty and informative videos, you will get a notice, and you will know to check in and see what, what's coming up. Also, like my Facebook page, because that is where I post moment-to-moment -moment details about what's going on. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great night. Bye-bye.